Hi! Today I'm going to be showing you how to wet felt with cookie cutters. With Valentine's Day coming up, I thought it would be appropriate to use heart-shaped cookie cutters. To start out, you're going to need a shallow pan and some bubble wrap. Before I go further, I should probably show you what it's going to end up looking like. Here are some snowflake ones. I don't know if you can see it, but I put seed beads and pearls on them. I made these for Christmas. And you can use colored roving. You can mix rovings, and this is what I'm going to show you how to do. You can leave it plain and decorate it with buttons. You can even put sparkly fibers in it. Really, your imagination is the limit here. All right, so take the cookie cutter you want to use and take your roving, kind of rip it up, mix it together. Use a blending board for this, but this is easier. And this is a project you can do with three-year-olds, which makes it a lot of fun. Fit it into your cookie cutter loosely. See, as some of it's hanging off the edges, that's not going to matter. You're going to need some hot soapsy water, and you can uh, make it bathtub temperature so it doesn't have to be super hot so that little one's fingers can do this. And then comes the fun part you start smooshing. You just smoosh away. And the little ones love to smoosh. You can even add a little bit of uh, liquid soap to it. This helps with the felting process. And the more you smoosh, the longer or the tighter the uh, fibers will get. Every once in a while, if you want to help your wee one out, very carefully flip it over. I can already feel that the fibers are starting to felt down. And just do this for however long they feel comfortable. And however long they want to smoosh. Have fun. Happy smooshing. Now, I like to leave them in the cookie cutter to dry. But what you can do is smoosh out as much of the soap and water as possible. And you can set it down on a towel or just on the counter to dry if you want to make more at the same time. And then when it's dry, it will end up looking something like this. I'm planning on making a garland with this and hopefully I'll get some pictures of that posted. Thank you for watching and happy Valentine's Day.